I made the word cat into a Bloxburg house. Now, a lot of you, and I mean a lot, have asked me to do the word dog next, so today I'm going to be doing just that. Before we start, comment if you like cats or dogs better. In any of my word houses, I have not done the letter D yet, so this is my first time, and I'm trying to figure out how this is going to look best. This looks like I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Currently, this does not look like a D. This kind of looks like... I don't even know what it looks like. Why does that still look so bad? <laughs> this is the best that we're gonna get, so we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and now the last letter we are missing is the letter G. Now, how am I going to do this? <laughs> so for this little thing, we have to make like a little snail shell. That's what we're gonna call it. So we're gonna go like that, like this, bring it down, like that, bam. Does that look like a G? That looks a little wonky. Um, <laughs> Maybe I have to switch this like that, bring it like that, and bam. That looks a little bit more manageable, okay? At least you can read what it says. Now we have completed the word dog. Woof, 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 woof. I don't know why I'm barking. Um, also, make sure to like the video and comment on what word I should make a house out of next. Now that the outline of the house is ready, I have brought two of my subscribers to help me decorate each of the letters. Um, <laughs> what is this avatar? They got a cat, googly eyes, and is that a face? Like a mouth? Ew, it's dancing. What is happening to its arms? If you want to be in a video like this, make sure to subscribe and join my Discord. The link is in the description. The letter I have chosen is the letter G, but I literally have no idea how I'm going to build this. <laughs> wait, I have a good idea. Okay, wait, instead of like down here, I could have the entrance over here. I think it might be a good idea. Hopefully it is. So now we have one, two, three, four, five rooms, and then we'll go from there. First thing I'm gonna place down is this console table. So as soon as you walk in, we have a little table on the side. And now we need two doorways over here. I think for this house, I'm gonna have these modern reveal doors. I'm gonna put one of these arched openings, of course, and this will lead into the kitchen. It's like a small doorway into the kitchen. That's literally what I said, didn't I? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> and now for the entrance, because this is basically a dog-themed house, I want to add some spice to it. Of course, like always, like this. And then we need another circle right here. Now, I know this doesn't look like anything yet, but give me a moment. Maybe that will look better. So we gotta go like this, copy, move it, copy, and maybe extend. That looks like a dog bone, doesn't it? Me, me, when I'm trying to convince myself, be like... <laughs> It's cute, okay? Give me some credit. Now, I just need to place down some flooring and cover up this ugly looking grass texture because no thank you, not today. What just happened? Oh, they added a light in this house, that's why. Oh, they took out the wall so they could see better. <gasps> that's smart, and they outlined it with a fed. Why, why am I looking at other people's builds? Okay, let's continue. Oh my God, they added a window right across from my window. So now when I'm walking inside my house, I can see, hey, what are you up to on the couch there? <laughs> that did not mean to sound as creepy as I made it seem. I still can't find it. Where is it? Storage. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just blind. Like maybe if I add a small mirror, it could look nice. So we're gonna go mirror, mirror on the wall. <gasps> can I resize this? Oh my gosh, I can. <gasps> the mirror could be leaning on the wall. Wait, that's perfect. Because I just added that wall, I feel like we're missing something. So maybe if I put like a window there and move this over, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna just leave the window there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to this kitchen space over here. This kitchen is very tight. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this, but maybe if we put some counters here. Oh, I think it works out perfectly. It just like slightly comes out on the doorway, but I think it's fine. <gasps> Actually, wait, no, they're dogs. So we need like food bowls. How am I going to do that? Okay, we have to custom make this, I believe. I don't have a dog, so I have to look at some ideas. I mean, they look exactly like the cat food trays. So it looks like we just have to do something like this. <gasps> Actually, we don't even need a cube. The one I was looking at is different. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, to be honest. Okay, we need a beveled vertical cylinder. We gotta place it down, delete this cube, goodbye. And then I want to connect it with this small vertical, vertical? with a small triangle. 
That's not a triangle, a small cube. Oh my goodness. Woo, wait a moment. Why does that actually look tasty? And I'm not a dog. I hope not. I'm a panda. <laughs> now we have a little puppy tray. For the kitchen, I also went for a type of white and blue theme because, again, when I think of dogs, I think of the color blue for some reason. <laughs> and I added a sink with a window over here. So while you wash the dishes, you can look at the view. Wait, hold up. What is that thing over there? Is that like a floating block? You see that? Is that just me? Oh my goodness, there's a stack of plastic trays. For some reason, I feel like they would definitely have this, like an owner of a dog. I, I don't know why. Don't ask any questions. I don't own a dog. And then we're gonna have a cutting board right in this corner, along with a knife block. And what else am I missing? We need some paper towels. And wait, I have a good idea. They have these closed paper food bags. What if I put this in a corner over here and it kind of looks like the food for the dog, you know, because they come in like the food bags the kebble or something i think at least uh, i think so at least you know what i'm just now realizing a blocksburg needs like tuna cans because having a tuna can right now i would have put it down and that would have been the canned food for the dogs i don't know why blocksburg hasn't added that blocksburg coeptus anyone who's watching that's a blocksburg developer please add tuna cans on the next update just because why not because justice for some tuna <laughs> at this point i'm going crazy oh my goodness why does this one look cuter than this one maybe because it's a bit smaller i don't know at least it looks good that's all that matters she really said slay ate that up because it's a dog bone you get it because the the bone is after you eat up the chicken or something okay anyways <laughs> My jokes are really bad. Oh my goodness. Why am I just now realizing that they have a gourmet gala chocolate fountain? <gasps> I don't know if dogs are allowed to eat chocolate, but you know what? I'll just have that there for myself. Just because. Decoration. <laughs> Not for eating or anything. This looks so delicious. Here, we should probably have like a living room, then the bedroom, and some type of bathroom. If I was a dog, which couch would I want to sit on? <laughs> And then this is a dog house. So maybe we can get like a little dog ottoman or like a dog bed. So we can put that down here. Can this actually, where am I? Where is my house? Um, <laughs> how did I get here? What if I make a dog bed out of some cubes? Can this place correctly? Hello, Mr. Shape. Oh, there we go. And one there, just like that. Does that look like a dog bed? I mean, that's really the best I could do. I don't know what else could make it look more like a dog bed. You see? Oh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? It looks decent, I guess. <laughs> That's where our dog is gonna sleep, okay? Okay. And what else I could put down is maybe two picture frames so that I can fill them up with some cute little dog pictures. And this is our little dog playpen. Let's call it that because I don't like the idea of having a cage, so that's not a cage. So speaking of which, why don't we start working on the bathroom and then leave the bedroom for last? First off, we need some flooring. Wa-bam, perfect. And now now, how are we going to do this? We do need a bath instead of just the shower because a dog lives in this house. And when you bathe your dogs, you bath them. You bathe them, you bath them. How do you say that? <laughs> this is how the finished custom door looks. It actually turned out looking pretty nice. So that is our bath. And we need a small carpet at the bottom to wipe our little dog paws. Okay, you know what? We're going to have one counter here. We're going to delete this. This is kind of going into the wall, but we're going to pretend it doesn't. And I'm going to add my sink there along with a mirror so that we can look at ourselves and admire our little flawless dog self i don't know are we transforming into dogs ourselves i guess <laughs> and now we need a toilet so toilet 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 so we're gonna put one right there and then for the little dog i know the dogs go outside to go use the the toilet but maybe if we use a small training potty for the dog it's a cute idea concept okay let's pretend the dog uses a training potty <laughs> yeah Oh, stinky doggy. <laughs> Here we could put in some stacked towels. Now, since the bathroom is mostly finished, the next and last room of this house is the bedroom. Also, hold up. I just noticed the creepy character's eyeball is like staring one way to me and the other way to their build over there. Uh, anyways. <laughs> So let's see where we can fit a regular bed. Now that I'm looking at the space of this bedroom, will I be able to add in a desk even? Maybe if we put something like right there and like put it in the wall halfway. I'm gonna get one of these sophisticated 
school. Simplicity. Why did I say sophisticated? And now we just have to add in, maybe I could add in a computer right there, along with some books. We could add a small tissue box, some tape dispenser, <laughs> and I'm also missing a light. <gasps> I need a lamp. Okay, which one screams dog room lamp? Maybe this one? <laughs> Don't ask me why. And then I could also add some of these fancy necklace stand because what else would be on top of a dresser? Necklaces, of course. Along with a small watch, maybe. <laughs> why not? And then I need to add a roofing. So let's get a flat roof. And putting down this roof is going to be a nightmare. There's so many twists. And there we... No, you're joking. Why does this do... Why does this... Do... Why does this do that? Do I have to... Oh my goodness. I have to do this. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Voila. My G is completed. Now that everyone has finished their houses, the word dog is done. Let's take a look at each of the homes. This is the first one, which is the letter D. It is all colorful in pink and it's literally matching her outfit. Look at her go. Okay, queen. If we go inside, I love the vibe of this house it reminds me of a blush theme we have some puppies on top of the couch this is her living room over here she has vogue pictures chanel and then in this little corner we have a food bowl and a water bowl along with a little puppy bed look how cute he is if we continue with this side of the letter d she even has a dining room over here that looks out into a wall from the letter o <laughs> and then we have a small bench area here along with some stools that act as if it was a dining room table i assume if we continue on is this the bedroom <gasps> it is and it has more doggies over here we have a small storage area we have another dog bed along with food bowls and then we have a small storage unit along with a little bed and a heart now if we go back to the entrance area of the letter d here she has a dining room table she even has her sink with her kitchen over here and it is all nicely decorated of course she added in some vine plants and then if we continue on she even had enough space to add a whole laundry room oh my goodness and it has an ironing board along with a little little dog being like please fold my laundry for me please over here is a little office space along with a huge poster just to fill up some area and finally we have the bathroom here is the toilet and we have run into a problem just like any other build where is the toilet paper am i supposed to wipe my hands on this plant over here or something and then of course we have a standing shower so maybe i can wipe my hands in there while i shower i guess <laughs> Next up, we have the letter O. And this house is made by this thing, whatever this is. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for um, being in my nightmares with those arms. Jeez. When we walk inside, we are welcomed by a kitchen. The theme of this house is so different from the other one. This one is kind of like Victorian slash industrial, I want to say. So here is how their kitchen looks. The color scheme is far from what I'm used to seeing. So I love the originality. If we go to the right of the build here, we have a dining room table along with some seats and we have our living room over here <gasps> this is so cool look at this type of couch oh my goodness i forgot that this couch existed in blogsburg um if we continue on what is this the bedroom <gasps> whoa oh my goodness speak about clutter items we have socks on the floor we got some money <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> here is the bed. We have a bunch of posters on the wall. Lana Del Rey, Nike, and self-control. Frank by the ocean. Okay. <laughs> we even have some vinyls on the wall. And then over here is a dresser along with a huge poster. And then if we continue over here, making a loop on the O since we just came from that side. Now we're going on this one. We have the bathroom with a standing shower with some soaps, thankfully. And does this bathroom have a toilet paper? <gasps> it does! Okay, that's plus 10 points for you, Zach. Even though your character looks a little questionable. And then finally, to finish off this build, we have a small office desk area here along... Uh, what? Why is he just staring into my soul? Um, guys, I'm scared. Make sure to like and subscribe. Please save me. Maybe it's because I took his money. Uh, maybe I should start running out of here before you notice this. <laughs> And last but not least, the build you have been waiting for, the letter G, my beautiful build. We come inside 
side, here is the entrance to the build. I have a dog. Oh my goodness, what is happening to my head? Oh, I guess I'm okay now. <laughs> I have a dog bone carpet along with some clutter items over here with a mirror, some little paws on the walls because, you know, my dog likes to walk on the walls, clearly. And then to our right is where I added in the kitchen. I have a little fondue fountain where I can make some chocolate covered bananas, marshmallows, and strawberries, whatever your heart desires. Nom, 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 nom. And then I even have another dog bone carpet over here along with some feeding bowls and a water tray and also a cute little picture of doggies. And now if we go across to the other side, here is where the dog has its play toys. On the other side, we have a food bowl along with a tennis ball. And then here's the doggy sitting down on his dog bed. Across from this is the dog play pen and it walks into the living room. We have TV and a couch over here. And then if you open this door, we are welcomed into the dog bedroom. We have the owner's bed over here. The dog bed is right across from it. And then we have a dresser along with a cramped desk space. I had to add it, of course. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this dog is. Material girl. Yes, queen. I aspire to be like that dog when I grow up. And last but not least, this is the bathroom, the final room of the house. You have a little sink area with a mirror. Then we have a custom door for our bathtub. And then a little storage unit for some soap, some towels, some books. And we have the toilet for both the owner and the little puppy. Comment what word I should make a house out of next. Oh, it's coming closer to me. It's staring at me. You better like and subscribe.